Okay. Uh oh. Scooter. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. <laughs> oh, God. Can I take You're my okay. shoes off now? You're okay. You're all right. Does anybody have any questions? Deborah Tate. D e b r a t a t e. Angela Corinne Smaldino, and Corinne is after Lino's mother. Her name was Corina. A n g e l a c o r i n n e. Small Dino, S M A L D is in David I N O. And what does this decision mean for you? Oh my gosh. Uh, I had no idea how this was going to turn out, really. I was very concerned, and I hope I got my point across that yes, she's worked on her own self very much. Herself, herself, herself. As of yet, I have not seen any effort on her part to deal with the victims that she created. Me, as for one. <laughs> I was very young when this happened, very innocent, and my life was rather devastated. I'm happy, very happy, because I think it was fair. As I said, I don't see that she should ever get out of jail. Well, it would be nice if she contacted me first and found out what she did to me so she can make amends to me, maybe. Well, you know, I'm a Christian, and so I believe that when you sin, you repent and make restitution. That's what I believe in, and that's what I do. I don't just pretend the person I injured is not there. So you, what, you want her to write you a letter? I want her to make restitution to me, yes, because she hurt me very much. What does that mean, financial restitution? I don't know. That's the least of my worries. <laughs> I just want to understand what it is. I don't know yet. I just think we need to work on that, both of us. Do you have any worries about today coming here today in light of these events? Worries? I'm not the least bit scared. That's why I'm still alive. <laughs> you know We're what? the tough ones. I think they met worries about what the... Oh, the yes, I was very be. worried. I didn't know what they were going to do. They were talking about they had secrets and they had ideas, and I didn't know what they were going to come up with. So I didn't know. I was surprised by their reaction. Is it important to what as time goes on that people who weren't around in 1969 and the early 70s not forget yes, of course it is, because as a teacher, I care about what children know about themselves and what they do. It's what I do every day. We talk about virtue every day. I don't just teach reading, writing, and math. We have a lot of problems every day on the playground, you know? You know that. And we, I help them to resolve those things, because I think it's important that they don't end up like this girl. That they know better. Nobody ever told her, I guess that every action has a consequence. I say that to them. I believe that in order for these people to continue uh, receiving a consequence, I would like to ask Californians to write letters to the Board of Prison Terms and state their feelings on the possibility of parole for heinous multiple murderers, first degree. Please, folks, let the letters yes. flow to what the am governor I, yeah. and to the board of prison terms. What am I teaching the children if we let this girl go? That you can go ahead and go out and kill people and get free? I don't care what she does in therapy. It doesn't make up for what she did. We are the same age as you know. I'm 54. What is she, 53? I grew up in the same arena. I met the same kind of people. And I was a flower child, okay? I don't know if she was. I don't believe that. Because I was not interested in murder, that's for sure. We were sitting on the mountaintop listening to music. What? Well, and if she did that, she didn't read her Bible very well. Because <laughs> it warns you of people like that. So you believe that when she first went there, she was already murderous in her heart? There's no way on earth somebody could hand me a knife and say, kill somebody, and I would do that. No way. I don't kill insects. I capture them and release them. I just couldn't do that not my nature. I don't have that in me. We grew up in the same... I grew up, what, five minutes from her? In a town, two towns away from her? Did you feel like the statement you made at the end about being responsible for both uh, uh, Rosemary and... That's the first time she's ever said that, you know what? She's always tried to get out of killing Rosemary. But this time she said maybe she did. You see that as any progress for her? A little bit. <laughs> okay. I don't. I've, I see it as a calculated ploy. <laughs> okay, well, that's true. It's necessary to gain her freedom. I think that a person that was truly repentful for what they had had done under such horrible circumstances would 
be embarrassed to come and ask a parole board for release. I think we both feel that way. We both feel that way, that uh, considering what they did, if they really are Christian as they say they are, they wouldn't be asking for parole because they would know how much it hurts my family and hers. Any other questions? Ever forgive? I forgive her. I'm sorry that she did that because I love children. She was a child, really. But I do require justice. I can't get past that. And the justice for me is that she served her life out in jail. I'm glad she's doing well in jail. I'm glad she's doing some good for people. But it doesn't mean I think she should get out of jail ever. Lena and Rosemary got sentenced to life in prison without parole. Period. Is that it? Thank you very much. I'm totally numb. I okay. Can't. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dropping my papers. Somebody else coming?